<laughs> oh, he, he puts himself very under pressure, don't yeah. he? <laughs> uh, David, um, how do you summarise that game, your last game of the maiden Premier League season for Huddersfield Town? Yeah, I think performance-wise, we played well. We has shown everything what the Terriers' identity is all about. We've shown aggression, desire, aggressivity. Uh, we created chances, but unfortunately, we were not clinical, and uh, this is why we lost this game. To be totally honest, uh, if I'm able to accept a defeat, then it's today because uh, we have to be honest that the job was done on Wednesday for us, but we were anything but on the beach. The players really tried it, uh, unfortunately not with the right result, but uh, anything else was good. We played some decent football and I think we as well were able to deliver exactly the atmosphere and the respect Arsene deserves after this 22 years uh, in, in Arsenal, at Arsenal. Seeing how much it meant to supporters today, was it a reminder of just how big of an achievement it is to stay in the Premier League. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, there is no doubt about that this second consecutive season in the Premier League is a is a very, very important step for this football club and his future. And uh, that we finish the Premier League season as, as thick teens, this is an unbelievable achievement. Uh, words probably cannot describe how big this is and how how impossible this uh, challenge looked before the season, but the players uh, together with this football club and the supporters delivered, they consistently delivered. We were only in the bottom three once over the whole season and this by goal difference and this uh, consistently uh, is for me the, the special thing when, when I think back about this future that we were able to consistently uh, be out of the top th uh, uh, bottom three and I'm, I'm so proud and, and happy for everybody who supports this football club and I'm happy that I was part of this journey and that I had my best lap of honor for this football club and it was now my third one and that we were able to to give something back to support to the supporters with this lap of honor as well. I think you've got a good bet now to build on for Huddersfield Town next season? To be totally honest about next season, I, I have, uh, yeah, maybe I have the energy, but I don't like to use the energy because I like to use the energy tonight and today for a celebration. And now it's all about celebrate the last 10 months of what this football club has done and really enjoy the party which will come tonight. And uh, this is uh, where I use all the energy tonight and not for what happens in the next season. It's a special day, of course, Arsene Wenger's last game with uh, Arsenal, it made for a bit of a party atmosphere as well, um, very special day wasn't it? Yeah it was great that we were able to show him all the honour and all the respect which we have. I think it was uh, special for sure for him and uh, we are very, Yeah, it's a, it was an honour for this football club to be the, the football club who be part of his uh, last Premier League game after 22 years as the manager of Arsenal. We were very happy that we were part of it and I think he deserves all the credit. He is a legend, a living legend of football as a manager and I think what he has done stands for itself. Final question for you, David. Now that the season's over, is it plan B to speak to Dean Hoyle and then maybe talk about perhaps your future or maybe even the transfers for the summer? Yeah, of course. The plan doesn't change. We had this plan since... Uh, January we have this plan always uh, doesn't change um, so hopefully we both will be fresh enough after the <laughs> celebration which we have tonight. Yeah to be totally honest if you know when uh, then uh, it can help as we have seen today. Now listen I, I, I've seen all the pictures as well um, I'm not really uh, know how I have to judge it that uh, some people make pictures uh, about uh, uh, the players in this circumstances, but uh, this is how the social media in our life is. But if there was one moment where I can absolutely accept uh, that they've done it, then it was on Wednesday night for sure. 
they 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 were able to do more or less everything uh, from my point of view because they already served it. Uh, the job these players have done in the last ten months is just incredible, and now the real party starts. Yeah, he is, uh, or he was for sure, uh, a big part in this last two and a half years, which we had together. He and Mark Hudson, this uh, were the two senior pros when I arrived, and they backed me from second one when we worked together, even when probably the one or other what I've had in my head was very unusual for them. They, they always, always supported me and he is uh, and was for sure a proper British pro, always leaves everything on the grass, uh, training or game uh, when he is on the grass. And I'm very happy that we were able to give him the chance to finish his career with some Premier League minutes that his sons were able to see his father playing Premier League. And now for him, the serious part of life starts with <laughs> starting his coaching career. Right now, uh, this summer. Is it your own? I, sorry, I didn't understand. The chairman went onto the pitch at half time uh, and assured the fans that he would not be going anywhere. Hmm. This summer, he wouldn't be leaving the Oh, is he, right? <laughs> well, he puts himself very under pressure, don't yeah. he? <laughs> <laughs>